Paddy, my name's Alex from Brosnine Foods and today we'll be showing you how to carve a ham off the bone. Uh, a really quick and easy way to do so with minimal wastage and also be able to slice the portions of ham on the slicer. So we have our ham on bone here, what we'll do is we'll turn it around and you notice there's a bone protruding out of the ham, it's called the hip bone. And what we're going to do is go really close to the end of the bone with a large knife and mark down. turn it over and cut all the way through on the other side. You know when you've hit the centre because your knife won't go through the bone. So what we'll do now is just quickly mark along that hip bone on either side and what that'll do is it'll make it easy to take it apart. So we turn it over and that hip bone Removes from the rest of the leg really, really easily. We'll put that aside and fix that one later. Then what we do is we get the knife and mark around the knuckle. So what we do is we get the smaller knife and we push it hard against the centre bone and follow it along. What you can do with your hands is just pull it apart then get the knife and cut all the way down to the bottom. We leave the skin on so that way it's easy to slice, there's less wastage and it looks good. So what we'll do now is get the knife and follow it along the centre bone. Once again Move the meat off the bone with your hand and with the knife cutting through to the bottom. Once again, another piece of meat that we can use on the slicer. And you just follow it all the way around. And then you have all these beautiful hand portions and the bit of meat that's left on the bone, you can just carve off with a knife. Then to remove the centre bone from the hock, you just find in the middle of the, the leg and you just cut down with a knife. And this piece can be used uh, for selling in the ham bones and then you have a ham hock to sell. What we'll now do is grab the larger piece back and you notice there's a bit of bone in there left from the hip bone. You just get your knife and cut around the bone until it's free from the meat and then that can just be discarded. And then you can start slicing. We'll grab the pork rump back and remove the hip bone quite easy. What you notice is there's a little bit of meat on the top of the bone. Remove that with your knife and that could be sold in the window. And then you just run the knife along the hip bone on either side. And just underneath holding the meat back and it just removes really easily and then you have another piece of meat ready for slicing. 